let's break down the Pats. Let's get into these Pats. 13-3. and three. Incredible offense this year, led by Billy O. Rob's second season, Jules' is third. Brady's coming off his MVP season. We're, we're exiting long hair Brady era. This is back to the normal Brady cut, um, just for all you, you Brady hair. So that's how yeah, you uh, track time out there. Um, the Pats are coming off a 2010 loss in the playoffs to uh, the Jets. That was the can't wait We were 14-2 and two that year. Oh, my God. So this year... Extra fired up. Dedicated this season to uh, Mrs. Kraft, who had passed away in the in the uh, the off season before this. R.I.P. Um, this was a team with a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes. We're talking Kevin Falk, Stephen Ridley, Shane O, Danny Woodhead. Heck of a backfield. Uh, receiving room: Dion Branch, Edelman, Chad Ochocinco. I wasn't there yet. I wasn't there yet. Really, you were in the receiving. Uh, Come I, on, I, was, I saw I you getting out there. Come on. Still a teamer. Teamer. Welker was there. Gronk, Hernandez. On the line, you got guys like Matt Light, Logan Mankins. Woodhead. Uh, Nate Solder. Can't forget Danny about Danny Woody. Woodhead. You cannot Woody, forget baby. about Woodhead. Woodhead shout was, out to Danny, bro. He was a stud. Got Love a shout that out. guy. Got a shout out, Woody. Big Vince. Big Vince on the line. And this was a team. No shade. No shade. We love these guys, but. 31st ranked defense in the NFL. Yeah, I was playing defense this year. <laughs> and Slater, we, we literally had a game where Slate and I were in the backfield in defense. I was playing nickel. Slate was playing safety. We had guys coming off the, f- the field. We were banged up. Yeah, this I mean, this was this year was basically like Rob, Wes, Hernandez, just tearing up the whole league. And you like, got Ninko. Shout out to Ninko. Ninko, Ninko was balling this Ninko year. Ninko balls in this I game. don't want to hate on the defense, man. Nico had Nico Nico made big time plays when the t- when the team needed a lot in his career. And just uh, just a little clarity of of Jules on defense played 120 defensive snaps in the regular season, 40 in the postseason, or no, 25 uh, in the postseason. 25. 40 of those were in Week 17 of that year. That's crazy. Who was that against? Um, that was um, that was Miami, 27-24. No, no, no. Buffalo. Buffalo. Yeah. Week Buff- 16 was Miami. Sorry. Buffalo. I, I hit Ryan Fitzpatrick so hard out of bounds. <laughs> I like literally tried to kill him with a forearm. How, how did it feel to be playing defense? I mean, you were a special teamer. You were getting reps on the offensive side of the ball, but you were playing defense as well. You got reps on all three phases of the game, and you were a great player on all three phases of the game as well. You're a great player on the defense side of the ball for never playing defense and just getting thrown in there, making tackles, just lighting guys up. You're really good at just throwing your shoulder at a guy carrying the ball and just making them flip up in the air yeah. and uh, tackling them like that. But how did that feel just to be a guy like that? Well, I, <clears throat> offense is like so much more preparation, you know, cause there's only really like five defenses, you know, you got to You got a blitz, you got this, like in some form of a way, another a way, they're going to get to certain areas. It's, it's, you know, they can change it up. Offense, it's just so much more pr- preparation. But because of, of the situational football, I knew, like on third down, you could kind of see what their concepts were going to be. And I knew what receivers hated. So I would just grab for five yards as much as I possibly could and try to fuck up their timing. And then you just react. You know, so it was, it was so much more reactive than playing on offense. Offense, you have to, like, think about this happens, you got to do this, which you have to do that a lot in defense, but, like, you get to hit someone, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You're, you're coming downhill on it. It's not like they're... And you're not thinking as much on the defensive side of the ball either. No. Mm-mm. They may, they simple they simplize it for you, mm-hmm. you know? And, and hold on. What about, I just want to give a shout-out to Coach Billy O'Brien as well. He left us after this season to go be the head coach of Penn, Penn State. But, man, what a guy, man. He had so much juice, so much energy. He was just a great offensive coordinator as well. And he figured out how to just light that fire underneath our ass, man. He knew how to get us going. And he he would be a guy that would go in there and get in the middle of the brawl with us and just start throwing haymakers and punches as well. We would go on to beat Baltimore in the AFC Championship on that Billy Cundiff 32-yard missed field goal that would have tied it up with 15 seconds left. Would have tied it up. Would have tied it up. People think like yeah, they, right. they, they were they winning. No, would have tied it up. Would have tied it up. Denver would finish the season 9-9 nine and nine if you count their playoffs. And the Patriots 
would go on to lose Super Bowl 46 to the New York Giants. Because well, Gro- Rob got... And Rob was injured in that he got AFC hurt against championship. The Baltimore Ravens yeah. because of that hip drop tackle. Yeah, the hip drop tackled yep. me. I was up the seam, caught the pass up the seam. I think it was about the th- a third quarter. Uh, he hip drop tackled me. It was uh, Bernard, Bernard Pollard. Pollard. Yeah, Pollard, who who's kind of like the Patriot killer. Dirty player. Mm. Who else did he hit? He did took he? out Tom's knee. When he was on the Chiefs? Yep. I think he Basically. messed up Welker as well, in, in a way. I, I forgot that injury. He, he was kind of the Patriot killer. He was a dirty player, I feel like, he, at the time. You know, there's a lot of them back in the day, though, when the rules were kind of, you know. That's what like whatever you can do like whatever out there mm-hmm. as a defensive the player. hip drop is bull but, but i ain't gonna i ain't gonna say it was a dirty play at all he it was a proper tackle and he just ended up landing on my ankle when i fell down and my ankle basically snapped. twisted the other way and snapped it was a high ankle sprain disappointing but you know me being me went in the locker room shoot me up i don't care i'm going back out there they taped up my ankle like that thing was not moving. It was basically in a cast. Now I shoved it back in my cleat, barely fit into the cleat now. And I went back out there and finished the game as well. I think I played the final two drives. Uh, I think we scored that touchdown to put us ahead. I think Tom jumped over. It was a quarterback yeah. sneak, and he jumped over, yeah, it over. And, and leaned the ball over the end zone uh, for the score. And, uh, yeah, man, and I feel like it kind of changed the uh, trajectory of the Super Bowl game with my injury. And it actually made my first Super Bowl experience miserable as well. You know? Yeah. Just all talk about my ankle. Nothing about the Super Bowl. I couldn't practice. Where was, was that I Super Bowl? Play? Where was it? Where Indi- was that Super Bowl? Oh. It was in Indi- uh, Indianapolis. Mm. Ooh, we hate Indy. Freak. Yeah, we hate Indy. Maybe that's why we didn't win that one because we just hated it. But we didn't even hate Indy yet. It was kind of like after this year we started well, hating the, Indy. There was always the Indy Patriot rivalry before we got there. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't a rivalry while we were there. But that's where that hate developed. Mm-hmm. It sure did. 